Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Econ K88, and I'm in North Toledo, just on the other side of downtown. This part of North Toledo is called Vistula. What you see on the right is called Greenbelt Place Apartments. Used to be known as the Cherry Woods. And this video is going to show some of the blight in Vistula, and one of the editorial writers in the Toledo Blade, the newspaper, local newspaper. Keith Burris, he was part of the barrage of articles about me and criticizing my page. You can see there's a pile of furniture. I don't know why that's sitting there because they don't even pick up garbage on the Greenbelt Parkway here. Anyway, he recently wrote a piece right before they uh, discussed my YouTube channel in the local newspaper about the CDCs community development corporations and one specifically named United North, a Toledo based, North Toledo based CDC and they are involved in home construction and giving people down payment assistance and apparently uh, helping to reduce blight. And we're going to see just how much blight they've reduced here in North Toledo because if, if they're claiming that they've reduced blight then I don't know what this place would look like without their help, but anyway, this is LaGrange Street. You can see there are too many to even count next door. The brick one's also vacant. This little blue house on the right is also vacant. That used to be a car lot and a gas station years ago. So right here is United North Headquarters, 725 LaGrange. That used to be LaGrange School that was torn down by the construction mafia in tandem with the Toledo School Board and Toledo Public School System. But that's a whole other set of videos. I've already discussed that prior. No need to rehash that. Say they help small businesses. As you can see, here's an entire row. Places that are closed and abandoned for sale. Also for sale over there. Now here's one business that has withstood the test of time in the neighborhood, the Beer Dock. Those of you familiar with this Chula in North Toledo have certainly heard of the Beer Dock. A lot of empty lots around here as well. That's where homes and buildings used to stand. So as you see, there are quite a few abandoned homes. Blight galore. This is within footsteps of uh, United North. You see all this stuff. But yet they still get all this positive press locally. They actually won Ohio CDC of the Year, so I'm not sure exactly what projects that they have done successfully, but for them to claim that they've revitalized North, to, if they're even trying to claim that they've revitalized North Toledo, that's... A complete joke and I am pretty familiar with this neighborhood I spent a lot of time in this neighborhood as a kid and a young adult and it has gotten progressively worse over the years I don't ever remember it being a nice part of town but I guess apparently it may have been but that was a long 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 time ago and Toledo itself has seen much better days in prior decades it's the Cherry Woods again over there, or the Green Belt, whatever the hell they call them now. 714 Walnut, another abandoned uh, historical house, another one right there. The East West Streets here are named after the Great Lakes. This is Ontario Street, 800 block of Ontario Street. Again, so we're right in the backyard of United North headquarters, and this is what we have. Eight eighteen Ontario, broken windows, just homes falling apart, more or less beyond repair. So, trying to get this done before school lets out because I don't want 
to have to do this while there are a lot of people walking down the streets. I tried to make this video yesterday and there were just so many people out walking around. I'm not really sure why because it was pretty cold, but I guess I just had cabin fever. 921 Ontario, that's actually a house that looks like it could be saved, but boarded windows. Another one there on the corner. Two right here. Literally right next door, there's United North's headquarters, 725, you can see it. Right here, literally right next door. So Mr. Burris, Toledo Blade, how about doing a story about this? Back-to-back -back abandoned homes. But yet, they won Ohio CDC of the year. Okay. So folks, when you read these articles in the newspaper and you see this type of stuff on television, just, if, if you live here in Toledo, just, just get in your car and drive around and take a look at some of this stuff. Instead of just believing everything that you read and hear. Again, there's the campus of former Lagrange School. So now we're going right into the heart of this Chula. Definitely one of Toledo's poorer neighborhoods. A lot of gang problems here, drugs, prostitution. Just overall a lot of despair here. But yet United North claims that they're here to save the day. Of course, it's all done with taxpayer money, but well, that one there looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. I've done a few videos from here in Vistula. Most of them are from 2010, 2011. I do notice that they have demolished some of the former buildings, but realistically, they probably should just come through here and entire blocks. You can see there, there's one house on that block. The green one is actually uh, occupied. That blue one and this one here you can see obviously is vacant. Over there upstairs is uh, boarded up. I'm not sure if anyone lives downstairs or not. See mail falling out of the mailbox, so probably not. So again, as I've mentioned in other videos, whatever you tax, you get less of. Whatever you subsidize, you get more of. So if you subsidize poverty, you get more poverty. And that's what we have with all these CDCs and, and other government programs to supposedly reduce poverty. The result has been an explosion. Massive rise in, in poverty. Whether it be food stamps or Section 8 or whatever. And that's the same. There's corporate welfare as well because I know a lot of people will say, well, we shouldn't give rich people tax breaks and stuff like that. That's fine. I'm not for that either. You know, if a, if, if a company cannot survive on its own, then it shouldn't exist. Bailouts for banks, bailouts for car companies, all that sort of stuff. I'm just, I'm against all of it. Two more abandoned houses there. It's pretty cold out, so I'll roll the windows up. Ontario and Magnolia now. So I'm going to try to drive up to around Galena Street. This is a stretch here that doesn't look too bad. Again, these are lower income people. Some of them work, some of them don't. But at least they're maintaining homes. You don't see just more abandoned houses than occupied like in parts of Vistula. There's another one that's abandoned. Looks like someone might be trying to save that one, but I can't tell. A lot of places have been burned down or burned out. Ontario and Bush. This is going to be one of my longer videos. Hopefully it uploads. I haven't uh, uploaded a video in more than 10 minutes since I've had my YouTube page. Another empty one there. Ontario and Stickney. That block of Stickney has always been pretty nice from what I remember. 
there's a Libby glass plant just north of here, about two blocks north of here. So probably many of these people at one time worked and possibly still do work at Libby. Another boarded up house there. That brown one is also vacant. That block there doesn't look too bad. You can actually see Libby from there. Vacant. And when they constructed this bridge, they eminent domain quite a few properties through the area that probably helped uh, get rid of a lot of blight. Another vacant one there. That one's for sale. Good luck. Vacant. 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 So there's a trifecta for you. Three in a row. Actually make it four in a row. I'm not sure about that one. Eh, that one looks occupied. It's a house that was burned out. Little corner store, Buckeye carry out. Pile of furniture where somebody was evicted. Plenty of potholes here. Toledo is the pothole capital of the world, in my opinion. Not quite as bad up here by Galena. There's an empty one there. Not quite as bad up here by Galena, but we're going to head back down towards LaGrange and Cherry Street. That's where the worst. It's definitely more blight in that area than around here. There's a carryout that went out of business. Pick and go carryout says for lease. Michigan Street. So I'm not real sure where these places, these CDCs such as United North get their funding. I know the city of Toledo does give some nonprofits uh, funds. And you know what else is strange is that I, I, I think the, uh, the director of United North, I don't think he lives in Toledo. So I find that there's one there, empty one. And the, the news article said that, that he's a community organizer, but yet he doesn't live in this community. Not just in North Toledo, but not in Toledo at all. That used to be a bar there. It was called uh, Millie's, and I think a long, long time ago it was called the Glass Bar. This is on the corner of Buckeye and Michigan. Another empty one there, brown one. There used to be several small taverns. There's Libby Glass over there. And a lot of the uh, local factory workers would frequent these places and they had little kitchens in them and, and just kind of gave some entertainment to people in the neighborhood. Here's the only bar that I know of that's still open, Jerry's Pub. Over here, the corner bar, that is out of business now and has been for a few years. That used to be called the Mud Puddle. It's been closed for more than a decade. Probably getting closer to 15 years now. Empty. Definitely see a lot of arson around here.
this stretch of Michigan looks okay. Here's another burned out house on the next corner, which is Stickney. Here's a house that's for sale. That was a very well maintained house for a long time. See the bars on the window. It was probably an older couple that just stayed there forever and they either moved or went to a nursing home or they passed away, unfortunately. Abandoned. Boarded up windows. There's another one here that's probably on the soon to be tear down list. Torched. At one time that was a pretty nice house. I remember doing a video over here too. I think this is the house that I went in with a friend of mine, Air Ant. 1448 abandoned. That was not abandoned when we did that video in 2010 or 11. That house right there, there's a a video of mine from a few years ago. The house wasn't in bad shape at all at that time. I'm not sure what it looks like in there now, but at least they have secured the property. Another empty one. Very old house too. Again, empty. That's probably one where they got some funding from somebody because there's new siding on the house. The windows look new, but yet uh, no one lives there, and it looks like they've had a fire recently. Some people digging their cars out. We've had a lot of snow here this, this year. Empty there. see the car bouncing around. It's almost like I'm riding a horse wagon. There's a six unit apartment building that is also vacant. You know what, let's go this way. These were occupied not too long ago probably never will be again because I'm sure they've been stripped of every ounce of copper and scrappable metal. Someone might live in that one even though one of the windows is boarded shut. Sometimes the side streets have more blight than the uh, lake name streets be a little carry out there, Vegas carry out. Empty. So again, Toledo Blade, United North, talk a big game. Upon further investigation, that's about all it appears to be is talk. So many people don't plow the sidewalks around here, the people are just walking down the street. I can't say I really blame them because who wants to trample through a foot of snow to try to get somewhere? Another one empty. So that's going to be about it for this one. This is Econ Cat 88 signing off from Vistula in North Toledo.